Which king was married to Eleanor of Aquitaine? Henry the First, Henry the Second, Richard the First, Henry the Fifth. I think it's Henry the Second. <laughs> I saw her tomb, funnily enough, in, in France this summer. And what did it say on it? Well, I... <laughs> well, that's, that's quite I important. I hope it said that she was married to Henry II. I said I wasn't going to gamble when I came back, and I sort of can't resist it. <laughs> You've got 32,000 pounds at the moment, you've got half a million. I did it at school for A-levels, and I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Take it was your time, long take as long as you need. Um, I do think it's Henry II. I think it's Henry II. You lose 468,000 pounds if you're wrong. I think it's worth going for. <laughs> I'm going to say Henry II. Final answer. Yep, final answer. You've just won one million! Come on down. <laughs> come on, Judy, come over here. <laughs> You're the worst state of the month. <laughs> I was going to think we'd never ever show this. Have a look at this. Pay Judith Keppel one million pounds. Look at that. <laughs> Good luck. Have a fantastic night. God bless you. you take it now. Thousand we'll pounds. But it's worth one million. It's question number fifteen of a possible fifteen. Here it is. If you planted the seeds of Quercus roba, what would grow? Trees, flowers, vegetables, grain. Quercus is a type of tree, Chris. I just hope that that's... <laughs> It doesn't cover the others as well. I, I, certainly not vegetables, certainly not grain. I don't think flowers. I certainly know of trees that have got the, uh, the uh, botanical name Quercus. I'm going to go for it. Sure, sure, hang on. Yes. Can we just calm down, please, audience? <laughs> Yeah, I'm delighted, but can we just remind David that if he's wrong, he loses £468,000. It's not your money, everybody, OK? <laughs> it's your call, David. Just take your time. You've got £500,000. You can walk away with 500000 but it's worth a million. No, I'm uh, almost certain. It's a horrible word, almost, isn't it? Just at this level. Yes. No, I... I'm not quite sure which trait it might be. An, it might be the oak. I'm not sure. It might be a type of oak. But I'm um, I'm nearly certain it's a tree. I don't like the way you're screwing up your eyes. But... I don't know the way you keep saying nearly. <laughs> you want to play? I'm going to play. 
You're risking five hundred thousand pounds. Oh, you know? I, know, I know, I know, and I know just the friend I would have phoned to find out as well. But... Final answer. Mm -hmm. You had five hundred thousand pounds. You went for trees. If you'd gone for <laughs> flowers. <laughs> You just lost four hundred and sixty-eight thousand pounds. If you'd gone for vegetables, you'd have just lost four hundred and sixty-eight thousand pounds. If you'd gone for grain, and you didn't think it could possibly be grain, if you'd gone for grain, you just have lost four hundred and sixty. <laughs> Om, Volt, Hertz. Need the 50 50, Chris. Okay, give me to take away two wrong answers. Leave Robert the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. One of those is worth a million pounds. I think it's Volt. You're wrong, you lose four. Don't ask me why I think that. Uh, hmm. It's your call, but you do not have to play this question. Chris, I'd like to play Vault. <laughs> <laughs> Your call. You do not have to. There's nothing on my screen. You don't have to play. It's up to you. That's, that's my final answer. It's the right answer. You just won one. Cool. I'm, in, I'm in shock. <laughs> I'm in shock. slightly mad, but very cool. <laughs> fantastic. Good? Good feeling? Oh, it's fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Leslie, give her a big hand. They go away. <laughs> One million pounds. Better off. Well played. Fantastic. Have a great night. <laughs> Don't be pleased. Who are you going to ring? I'll ring Mark. I beg your pardon? Mark. Who's Mark? He's a friend. He's uh, hopefully a knowledgeable friend. But I, I have a good idea what the answer is. Do you want me to tell Mark how much money is involved? You can do, yes. <laughs> OK. Only it might spook him a bit. 
Right, well, where's Mark? Um, he's up in the uh, northwest, major side. Hello? Mark? Yes, it is. Hi, yeah, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Hi, Chris. Well, we're on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Uh-huh. Uh, I've got Pat here. He's come back, as you know. Yeah? Uh, he's doing really quite well. Great stuff. Yeah. Um, he's on a million. Wow! <laughs> hey! Don't forget about that same quid that he owes me then until next week. Well, only if you give him the right answer. <laughs> um, I just want to make sure you absolutely understand this. He's got £500,000 at this moment. Right. There are only two possible answers left. One is right and one is wrong. OK. okay? He's used his 50-50. Right. The right answer is worth a million pounds. If you give him the wrong answer and he goes for that, you cost him £468,000. All right, Chris. Yeah. All right, are you ready for this? Yep. Right, the next voice you hear will be Pat. He will tell you the question and two possible answers. One of them is worth a million. Pat, lots of luck. You have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay. Which of these is not one of the American Triple Crown horse races? The Arlington Million, the Kentucky Derby. Which of these is not one of the American Triple Crown horse races? The Arlington Million, the Kentucky Derby. Ten seconds. It's the Arlington Million. I'm 90% certain yes, on that. Yes, it's the Arlington, Arlington million. million. Thank you, Mark. That's what I thought. That's the British and Irish. Thank you. Are all your friends like this? He's very, very calm. I thought it was the Arlington Million from when they first went up. It's the Preakness, Belmont and Kentucky are the American Triple Crown. I think the Arlington Million... Oh, this chat will sound very foolish if I'm wrong. I think the Arlington Million is a much more recent uh, innovation. If you're wrong, you lose £468,000. I'll take a few moments, I think, before I commit myself. Kentucky Derby, Belmont, Preakness. That is the Triple Crown. The Arlington Million is not a Triple Crown race. Final answer. Final answer. You've just won one million pounds! <laughs> oh, what are you worth? Bloody hell. One million pounds! That's tremendous. You are so cool, man! Amazing. Fantastic! Sheila! Sheila, come down here! Sheila! Sheila, come here! You're married to a millionaire! <laughs> come on, my darling! You are married to a millionaire! <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on! Sheila! <laughs> You didn't come last time, did you? Oh, God. I thought you'd have taken the two. No, 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 I couldn't. He was so calm. Oh, that's what he's like. Either that's knows what he's or like. doesn't. That's what he's like. That was amazing. And you said very clearly, when you, when you came back, you said, I'm really going to have a look at this. I'm not at all confident. If there's any doubt, I'm going to walk away. No, I was confident um, on board. Have a look. That's it. It's a work, hey. of, it's a work of art. It is a work of art. <laughs> hey, Pat Gibson. One million pounds. One million pounds. Unbelievable. It's yours. Unbelievable. It's happened again. It's the fourth time you've seen it on the show here in the UK. Pat Gibson has done it again on the show that's changed the viewing habits of the nation. Which boxer was famous for striking the gong in the introduction to J. Arthur Rank films? Bombardier Billy Wells, Freddie Mills, Terry Spinks, Don Cockle. Oh dear. <laughs> it's one of those Rumsfields. A known known or a known unknown? <laughs> it's not a known known. 
It's not a known unknown. Which boxer was famous for striking the gong in the introduction to J. Arthur Rank films? Bombardier Billy Wells, Freddie Mills, Terry Spinks, Don Cockle. You have £500,000 at this moment. You're guaranteed £32,000. This is worth £1 million. If you gave me a wrong answer at this point, Ingram, yeah. you would lose £468,000. Yes. But one is worth a million pounds. Mm. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. But my children would never forgive me. <laughs> no, looking at their faces, no, they won't. <laughs> they wouldn't. One of those is worth one million pounds. You do not have to play this. It's Bombardier Billy Wells. Freddie Mills was famous for this, that and the other. Being found shot in a car, I think. Don Cockle, I remember him. Having a go at the world heavyweight and losing. Terry Spinks, similarly. I don't you know, connect it with any of them. Bombardier Belly Wells definitely rings the bell. He strikes the gong. Once you give me a final answer, it goes to orange. There's no going back. You yes. do not have to play this question, but it's worth one million. No, I'll go. I will. Final answer. Behind Bombardier Billy Wells. You just won one million pounds! Yeah! Fantastic! Fantastic! You are so cool! I love you! Because I knew this would be the result. Come on over here. Come on, come on, come on. There it is. Ah. It doesn't happen very often when it does. Come on, it's Daddy. He's very rich. Be nice. <laughs> Have a look, Daddy. This, this is what you've done. One million quid. How do you feel? Uh, it'll sink in. Give him time. <laughs> it won't take long. Hold it. Ooh. Hold it. Ooh. Yeah, that's what it says. A millionaire! <laughs> I think you're the most laid-back one yet. <laughs> it's all on the surface. First time anyone has ever come back to the first question they faced for a million pounds, gone for it and got it right. This guy, I'm delighted to say, Great Britain has another overwhelmed overnight millionaire. Ingram Wilcox here goes into television history as the fifth person to achieve this programme's ultimate goal, taking home a cool one million pounds. Give it up! <laughs> one million pounds! Take it home to bar! Fantastic! Hello, guys. Okay. Another millionaire. Oh.